ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, accompanied by the Vice Premier of the People's Republic of China. appreciate your joining us at this White House uh, event. This is a very important and remarkable occasion. Today we take a momentous step, one that has never been taken before with China, toward a future of fair and reciprocal trade as we sign phase one of the historic trade deal between the United States and China. Together, we are righting the wrongs of the past and delivering a future of economic justice and security for American workers, farmers, and families. I want to thank President Xi, who is watching as we speak, and I'll be going over to China in the not-too-distant future to reciprocate. But I want to thank President Xi, a very, very good friend of mine. We've. Uh, we're representing different countries. He's representing China. I'm representing the U.S., but we've uh, developed an incredible relationship. But I want to thank him for his cooperation and partnership throughout this very complex process. Our negotiations were tough, honest, open, and respectful, leading us to this really incredible breakthrough. Most people thought this could never happen. It should have happened 25 years ago, by the way, but that's okay a man who also has become a good friend of mine and somebody who's very, very talented and very capable. We're delighted to be joined by Vice Premier Leo Ha, and Ambassador Shui, and many other representatives from the People's Republic of China. We are especially proud of the efforts of Vice President Mike Pence, who is with us. And Mike, I'd like to have you say a few words, please. Thank you, Mr. President. It's an honor to be here with you, with Vice Premier Leo Ha, with our Treasury Secretary, with Ambassador Lighthizer, with so many distinguished guests, members of Congress, and governors from around the country. This is a, a good day for America, China, and the world. And it's an honor to be with you. Mr. President, we gather here today, thanks to your leadership, at a time that the American economy is booming. With the strong support of members of Congress who are gathered here, uh, we are now experiencing an economy that's created more than 7 million jobs. Unemployment rate is at a 50-year low. The average American's household income has risen by more than $5,000. That's all a result of your commitment to cut taxes, roll back regulation, unleash American energy. But it also reflects your commitment to free, fair, and reciprocal trade. Early in this administration, you made it clear that the era of economic surrender was over, and you took a strong stand for American jobs and American workers. You said to our friends in China that things had to change, and thanks to your leadership, today the change begins. Thanks to your efforts, Mr. President, we announced today great progress on protecting intellectual property, on preventing forced technology transfer and currency manipulation. And I know it means so much to you, the greatest impact may well be on American agriculture. Some 40 to 50 billion dollars in purchases secured in this deal that will result in greater prosperity for farmers all across the land. Mr. President, your uh, commitment to a growing and prosperous America has been the centerpiece of your leadership. And today, with the signing of phase one, is one more example of your commitment to put American jobs 
and American workers first. And we recognize, as you do, Mr. President, the differences will remain between our two nations, but today is the start of a new chapter in trade relation between the two largest economies in the world. But I can assure the American people that this president will continue to stand firm and put America first, even as we forge a more productive relationship with China and with the world. Mr. President, you know there's an ancient Chinese proverb that says, men see only the present, but heaven sees the future. So let today be the beginning of a brighter future, more prosperous for the American people, the Chinese people, and the world. Thank you, Mr. President.